riot police using tear gas and rubber bullets to try to break up protests outside Georgia's parliament. Let's show you the scene just uh, a few uh, moments ago in uh, Tbilisi. Uh, lawmakers are having a second reading and a vote on a foreign agent's law. Now, this is a controversial issue that has sparked the protest. Those who are in favour of it say it's to help make the funding of NGOs more transparent. Those who are against say to throw back to Soviet times. Brussels has stepped in to say that such a law, if passed, would jeopardise Georgia's chances of entering the European Union. Our regional correspondent, Regis Giant, is uh, joining us now for more on the situation. Uh, Regis, we've seen uh, angry scenes outside the parliament in Tbilisi. Uh, what can you tell us? Yeah, indeed, uh, this last uh, two hours, let's say, the, the, the police forces tried to disperse uh, the crowd, which was around the, the parliament. They used uh, rubber balls, they, were, they used uh, tear gas and also uh, uh, some uh, uh, water cannons. So quite, quite a serious uh, uh, um, process is underway. People wanted to go uh, not inside the parliament, they, they tried to lock uh, the, the, the doors of the entries, the various entrances of the, of the parliament because the, the, the deputies, the MPs are about to, 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 to adopt the law on the second reading and there will be three, three readings finally. Um, so it seems that in this case, the, 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 the government tries to uh, uh, really use the force to to uh, uh, control the situation, uh, it's a sign. It's a sign that the the, the government is at the moment quite uh, roaring, uh, and we saw that yesterday with a huge uh, uh, rally that they organized. Uh, the rally was huge, but it was also a sign that the government roars because since three weeks now, the the crowd is in the street and against this law that they call the Russian law. Why, Regis, is that this split in Georgian society as it seems to be at the moment? I mean, clearly there are those who are for this law, but others who are against. And obviously Brussels, Regis, has stepped in and said that if it's passed, this will reduce Georgia's chances of actually entering the EU. So what's the reason for this split in society right now? The split is not exactly in the society. I mean, it exists, but it's not in the society. This is really an enterprise of the government, uh, which is uh, indeed uh, uh, having a kind of a Russian or pro-Russian policy now, for some reason, geopolitical reason, also because the leader of the country is an oligarch, which made his money in, 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 in Russia, Bidzina Ivanishvili, is extremely powerful. He's the one, I mean, Georgia is a kind of autocracy at the moment. If you read the, 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 the opinion polls, and I'm reading them since 20 years in this country, permanently you have like 80% of the population saying that they want to join the EU. But the government is using a lot of uh, um, uh, messages to, to spoil the image of the West, precisely to be able then to bring back Georgia on the Russian side. But uh, uh, part of the, a big part of the society, especially the youth, is, is, is opposing to this, to this law. 20 years reporting in Tbilisi. Regis, we appreciate your, your expertise and your depth of knowledge. It is always great to have you on the program. Thank you so very much indeed. Regis Chant, who is our correspondent in uh, Tbilisi, watching, of course, for all developments. The minute we have anything new, of course, Regis will be straight back to us uh, with that and, of course, the analysis. Regis, thank you.